Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see a very important classifier that is Navy Bayesian, which is very useful to perform the classification. Navy Bayesian The Navy Bayesian classifier is based on the Bayes theorem with the independent assumption between the predictors. A Navy Bayesian model is easy to build with a no complicated interactive parameter estimation, which makes it particularly useful for very large data set. Despite its simplicity, the Navy Bayesian classifier often does the surprisingly well and widely used because it often outperforms more sophisticated classification methods that's why it becomes very popular and we use it while performing the classification next the algorithm of a navy bayesian is the Bayes theorem provides a way of calculating the posterior probability that is p of c x that is probability of the c and the x from p of c p of x and p of x of c that is probability of c probability of x and probability of x by c a navy bayesian classifiers assume that the effect of the value of a predictor x on a given class c is independent of the value of other predictor the assumption is called as a class conditional independence see the formula here, the posterior probability we are calculating, where the probability of x by c into the probability of class prior divided by the probability of x, that is the prior probability. Now, to calculate the probability of posterior, what we do, probability of x1 divided by c into probability of x2 divided by c into probability of xn divided by c, because we are having number of independence attribute and for those attribute we are dividing with the class and through that we are calculating the probability into we are performing the probability of a class so this is a method to work with the navy bayesian classifier so you should know this formula before performing the classification now probability of c of x is the posterior probability of a class target given to the predictor right Pc is the prior probability of a class. Px by C is the likelihood, which is the probability of a predictor given a class. And Px is the prior probability of a predictor. In a 0R model, there is no predictor is present. But in 1R model, we try to find the single best predictor. Navy Bayesian includes all the predictors using Bayes rule. And independence assumption between the predictors next is we'll see the example c uh, we'll check the weather data set here so this is our data set where we having a one two three four five attributes in that four are the independent attributes and one is a dependent attribute that is play glow goal for not fine now the posterior probability can be calculated by first constructing a frequency table for each attribute against the target. Then transforming the frequency tables to the likelihood tables and finally use the Navy Bayesian equation to calculate the posterior probability for each class. The class with the highest posterior probability is the outcome of a prediction. So see, this is our actual frequency table where we are calculating the outlook of a sunny overcast and runny now what we are doing we are calculating the probability of a yes or no fine after counting the continuity of a yes and no we are calculating the likelihood table in that we are calculating the p by x by c that is 3 by 9 4 by 9 because see this is 3 right so the addition of 3 plus 4 plus 2 is 9 right so 3 by 9, same way we are doing with a no, that is 2 by 5, 3 plus 0 plus 2 is 5, so 2 by 5. So after calculating all the probabilities, we are also calculating the probability of a total yes, total no, total
total sunny overcast and rainy after done with that we are calculating the posterior probability for the yes so for the yes and the sunny we are getting the posterior probability as a 0.33 into 0.64 divided by 0.36 are you getting it see what we are doing the probability of a 9 by 40 that is 0.64 into the probability of a sunny divided by yes that is 0.33 divided by the posture of x that is independent variable we are getting is 0.36 so the total probability we are getting is 0.60 fine next the similar way we are also calculating the probability for the no so for the no we are getting the probability as a 0.40 now the likelihood table for the all four predictors. So first we have did for the single sunny, right? Now we are doing it for the all the likelihood tables. So we did for the outlook, we did for the humidity, we did for the temperature, we did for the windy. And for every table, frequency table, we calculate the likelihood table. Fine. Now, example number two. In this example, we have four inputs, right? The final posture probability can be standardized between zeros and one. Fine. Now, see, after calculating the prediction probability, posture probability, what we are getting is we are getting 0 0.2 for the yes of x, and for the no of x, we are getting the probability as a 0 0.8, right? So it, it is in between 0 to 1. Now, the zero frequency problem, this can be happened, right? So, when this happens, so add 1 to the count for every attribute value combination when an attribute value does not occur with the every class value. See, in this uh, table, we have seen that outlook overcast, we are getting play golf as a no only. So, that time what we can do, we can add the one value to that count. Next is numerical predictors. See, the numerical values need to be transformed to their categorical counterparts. Before constructing their frequency table, the other option we have is using the distribution of the numerical variable to have a good guess of the frequency. For example, one common practice is to assume a normal distribution for a numerical variables. The probability density function for the normal distribution is defined by two parameters. One is mean and second is standard deviation. C. With the mean, we can calculate the x of i. Then after that, we can calculate the standard deviation. And using the mean and standard deviation, we can calculate the normal distribution of a data. So see for the example, we can say the normal uh, mean value we are getting is 7.9 and 86. And for the standard deviation, we are getting is 10 and 9. So, if we calculate the normal distribution, we get a normal distribution as a 0 0.03. And for a P humidity, we are getting a normal distribution as 0 0.018. Fine. Next is predictor contribution. Kononenko's information gain as a sum of information contributed by each attribute can offer an explanation on how values of the predictor influence the class probability so log 2 of p c of x minus log 2 of p c the contribution of a predictor can also be visualized by using nomograms nomogram plots log out the ratio for each value of each predictor length of the line corresponds to the span of odd ratios suggesting importance of the related predictor it also shows the impact of individual value of a predictors also. See, the decel Q and the Bayesian, these two are the decision tree classifier algorithms where we used it. Uh, so in that, when we check the classifier normal distribution, we get it from the 80 to 2.0. And for the message, we are getting it from the 400 to 130. So in this video, we have seen what is Navy Bayesian algorithm classifier, the algorithm of it, how we can handle it, how we can make it as a range between the 0 to 1. Thank you.